Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Colin Gaming Mario Kart 8 Roulette Challenge where Ben and I are trying to three star every cup with random chosen cards and characters. Ben, are you ready? I think so. I think so. Just coming back from a, a good long vacation. It's been a beat. Dude, you were at Disney World for a week. A full week. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. I'm so man. jealous. Without thinking, what was the best part? Go. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, sounds I, like thinking. Sounds like thinking. I'm trying to think of the name of the ride. Rite of Passage. Rite of Passage. Which, yeah. uh, which is the like one of the Avatar rides in mm -hmm. Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. It was literally straight up incredible. Like, man, it was. I, I, I was just smiling the whole time. It was so cool. It smiles so cool. abound. Smiles abound. So as you can see, I went through. We were doing some online racing while you weren't here. Yeah. So I've got like a very, very super good cart going here. Look at that. Um, I'm about to change, <laughs> change that. It. Let's change it. Let's change that. Uh, thirteen. <laughs> 13, all right, so that's gonna be what, 7, 14. Oh, oh. No, someone is Ludwig! The Ludwig! first time the first that anybody's Ludwig. been Ludwig. Oh no man, how way. exciting. Nine. What if he's been like the secret to all of the success? Could could Ludwig be a three-star master? <laughs> you got Baby Rosalina though, that's what I just was. Yeah. Okay, I like Baby Rosalina. Uh, five for Jay. Hey, all right, all right, yeah, sure, maybe. Six. Oh, Ben's Ooh, favorite tires. Eight. Eight. I like these single digit numbers you're doling out, Derek. No. Here's a 27, you know it. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. 23. Buttons? Uh, 29. Oh my gosh, you're so slow. <laughs> oh wow, you're right. In no weight but whatsoever. No weight, oh man. Gosh, Interesting, you're gonna be real floaty. Real floaty. But you'll be up to speed in no time. With that acceleration. Yeah, well, you'll be up to that. that very slow speed, speed in, in no, no time. time. <laughs> then, yeah, that's exactly right, that's exactly right. It looks like we le left off on the special cup, and uh, that means we are on to the Triforce Cup. Oh, the man. Triforce Cup. Here we go. Warriors I got that Rainbow man. Road. Warriors go. Oh, my oh, man. Is, is this so, tell me, I think you were you were racing people online? Was that, was that yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we, we like had... people who watched the Super Carlin Brothers channel? Oh, no, 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 no. I just did J vs. the World. I just <gasps> went on to Worldwide vs. Match Settings, and we were just racing people Friday afternoon. How'd it go? We were fun. I mean, pretty good. I, I, we had, I think at worst, a seventh place finish. Okay. Um, okay. You know, it's hard It's hard to guarantee anything in Mario Kart. And once you get once you get back into the fray, uh, I would say most of the time it was, we were straight up winning. Yeah, I think that... that... He says the worst they did was seventh, which is to say that one time he got seventh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right, right. But like otherwise was doing, doing oh, pretty well. Otherwise just crushing it. Awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Very that's bad awesome. start right yeah, here. Yeah, may though. not. Uh, Jeez, right okay. Uh, all right, Rachel Bjorn uh, doesn't have a question, but this is a little update that I thought you guys would appreciate. I'm a senior in high school and decided to join the track team, and it's oh. so fun. I'm a theater kid, so I never really thought I would be good at it. But, hey. Uh, I'm not, but that's not the point. <laughs> oh. But it's so fun, and the people are cool, so for anybody who wants to try something new, I highly recommend it, no matter what, how old you are or what grade you're in. Well, thank you. Way that to get your question awesome. read, or yes, your comment your read. your comment read. That's, that's amazing. How you We're do so it. proud that's how of you. you. Do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I thought you'd appreciate that one. Uh, we've got one from uh, Jamie Valley, possibly Jamie Vale. Maybe Jamie Valle. Ooh. Wow. Uh, dear Ben and Jay and DK, I need help. I used to be super close with my sister, and then I ended up marrying a guy she used to have a crush on. She said it was okay at the time, but needless to say, our relationship went downhill from there. It has now been three and a half years, and I have gotten a little tired of trying to reach out for her and her not doing the same. What should I do? Oh, wow. Oh, man, she needs a... to get a grip. Like you married this guy, he obviously is into you. Like, <laughs> like, like this isn't even. This is so dumb. Your sister is so far in the wrong here. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This guy didn't like her as much as he likes you, but good for you. Um, yeah, that's. You know, once, once, once you marry, the game is over, friends. Right. You know, that's it. You, they have become. You have become either the good guy or the bad guy of that story. Like at some point, you might be like, oh man, it's so. It sucks that they're, they're, this person stole this person from me, or. I used to really like this person, and now they're dating one of my friends. But guess what? You, the other people might seem like the bad guy of the story, but once they're married, if you're not the person who's married, you're the bad guy of their story now. Right. Yeah. So, right, right. It's that's, so that's, true. That's a fair point. Such actually. a good point. Right. Yeah. Right. So, sister definitely needs to get over. But I think, I think all that aside, this person oh! needs help because um, they're the one who is dealing with the problem. Yeah. This, this to me seems like one of those where maybe. Um, Let's finish. Thanks. Thanks. I think maybe just like a good solid discussion. I think it's so often that like people kind of grow into these passive aggressive tendencies where it's like both of you sort of know like what the issue is, but nobody's really addressing the elephant in the room. It's just yeah. like you just gotta, you just gotta, gotta do it. You just gotta address that elephant 
put an address right on it and mail them somewhere. Mm. Mm. A, you met, you get an elephant. You said address, and at first I thought you were thinking about a dress, and it was very confusing. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> no, okay. I was, I was so, gotta dress that elephant right solution. up. Ship and then that elephant. Sh- no, I think we've li- I think we've stumbled into the answer here. You go rent a baby elephant from the zoo. <laughs> you you find a friend who can make a dress for it, bring it to your sister, and be like, look. I feel like we, we're on the same. We're friends again. Now, right? <laughs> we have. I brought you the elephant. I addressed the elephant. Okay, so we're good, right? We're good. We're good. There you go. Next question. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna uh, go through these. We got one from Fantasy Stats Guru. Oh, uh, your age dating advice needed. What? Your age uh, dating advice? I don't remember. Uh, I have recently started dating a girl who I'm very attracted to, and we have a lot of hobbies and interests in common, like sports and traveling. But we come from different backgrounds. I'm a Christian and she is not. Do you think that's an immediate deal breaker? Nope. And I shouldn't even try or grow the relationship because it's bound to fail? Are you already answered? Wait, why would it, why would it be why bound to fail? Uh, I don't know if this is part of this question. Um, Let me tell you something. I, I think that that's interesting. Yeah, no, like, um, it, it's very possible that you guys will eventually be on the same page and one of you will be forever grateful because the other person introduced you to that thing. Um, it's also possible that you guys just just may um, have have a different way of viewing the world, but that can also be great, you yeah, know, yeah. To, to have a couple of different perspectives. Um, and it could be the case that that things from uh, from both sides would be very helpful in helping manage things. You know, like uh, it's kind of like having a diverse toolkit, if you will. Sure. Does that make sense? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Um, do you guys feel like I mean uh, I'm I'm not actually um, religious myself, so um, it's, it's not something I it would not be a deal breaker to me if somebody was, um, and I, I think I would. I think it's more a, often the case that if someone is, it's a deal breaker that the other person isn't. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, I like for I would a very long time like we never really grew up going to church or anything uh, in the in the Carlin household, but um, you know I, so I wasn't exactly sure where I landed on most of that but Beth grew up very much going to church and um, you know that was a big part of her life uh, it, it was eventually like a big road we had to cross I'd say it was one of the final roads we crossed but um, you know it's uh, it all worked out very good we go to church now yeah, yeah. like but you, I yeah. feel like you would say your life is better for it right absolutely 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 so. uh, definitely uh, we did not I think it was the one thing like we were det- we figured it was a big issue but we were absolutely not gonna let it stop uh it from us dating. Right. right, right, right. <coughs> so. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. Uh, one from Natalie Villarreal. Possibly Villarreal, depending on... Villarreal. Wait, have There's we one had of those this... I, this person, I believe, has asked questions before. As soon as I said her name, I was like, hey. It sounds familiar. like our trainer's last name. <laughs> it uh, does. It is. It is. That is his last name, isn't it? Oh. I, uh, I can't tell. Do you know Gabriel? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like you might have a lot in common. Right. Uh, question for Ben J and DK. I'm a college student, and walking to and from class has become such a drag. I know that each of you has experience <laughs> with both the boosted board and the one wheel, but which one would you recommend for me? Oh, oh man, on college camp. Well, man, I don't know where you go to school. It's se- that's the that's the, the really important part, right? Like, right. What does the campus? Like, what does the campus look? Like? So, that being said, uh, like the one wheel is a relatively new invention, and longboarding at college is not. You know, like, you're probably going to be okay with a boosted board. Um, that being said, the one wheel is going to be good at going, like, through shortcuts and cutting across grass and stuff like super that. True. So yeah, super true. If you have, like, a, a campus where that is more doable, that might be the answer for you. Although, uh, you're going to be probably carrying a backpack as well, and that could really adjust the weight and stuff. I think, I think in that case, that's a good point. I, I, that was not my immediate thought. I was I was kind of right with you on um, in what way you're going to use it. Yeah. Um, the boosted board might be easier to carry it into class. I yeah. know, DK, you ran out of battery one day. Uh, well, yes, yeah, so I thought it was charged and it wasn't, and right. that thing is heavy if you have to schlep it around. Right. So that that might be a big consideration, especially like considering, well, depending on how far you're having to go. Um, I, if yeah. I had a boosted board in college, I would have been so friggin' delighted. <laughs> um, right. That would have been that would have been super nice. And I I probably couldn't say enough good things about the boosted board other than maybe its range. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I like the bo- I'm gonna recommend the boosted board because that's the one I have, and it's super easy to pick up. Even um, though I prefer the one wheel myself for the her purposes, I'd say uh, the boosted board's the way to go. Right. No! How oh, did this no! happen? How did this happen? 
sniped at the end. I don't even. Oh man. Oh, but my, my last gosh. bit of advice for you, Natalie, is that uh, I would make sure that you do the one wheel or the boosted board and not a uh, knockoff brand of either of them. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, I'm definitely. So mad. That's yeah, that's frustrating. Dude, I can feel. I, I can feel the, all the negative energy. I had the boombox right, the and boom I'm box. like. I'm, I'm set. I'm near the finish line. If a blue shell comes, I'm just going to blast it. The blue shell was coming, and then a red shell snuck in. I don't even... The problem is... Ah, this is one, like, you need the volume to hear the red shells. Uh, we don't have the volume on it. It just it hit me, and then while I was recovering, the blue shell came, and I didn't even get to boombox it. Oh, my gosh. That's the most... Ah, oh, that's terrible. We should be we should be on three star track right now, and we're just not. We're just not. We're just not. We're now just we not. we were, and we're not. We're not. So whatever. It's fine. So now it's I'm fine. now I'm almost rooting against you because that will be devastating if you first out. <laughs> you know. If All right. Game. Uh, here's an interesting one uh, that we uh, maybe have some help for. Uh, Gabitha Foster. Hey, brothers and DK. I need help. I'm five one and weigh around two hundred twenty pounds. I'm trying to lose weight. Do you have any advice on getting out of the house? Uh, more or uh, weight loss or building muscle. Um, then goes on to talk for a little bit about uh, like not really wanting to go to a gym because she feels like it would be awkward. Mm. And uh, also, um, I, I oh sorry. Oh, uh, it was her twentieth birthday when we uh, released that last video. So happy birthday! Oh, happy birthday! That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> um, okay, so I think I think where my advice is going to come from is is maybe a little bit of like there needs to be. Uh, getting past the I don't know if I want to go to the gym in fear of it being awkward thing that one you might just need to let go um, like or or find a way to, to start tackling that particular uh, challenge but that being said there are other ways to go uh, other than being at the gym yes but one of the things that I actually ran into um, when I started weightlifting and it was that I had like very little body fat from rock climbing so much and I had so little to convert into muscle that it's actually been kind of problematic for my progress in that field. But weightlifting, you continue to lose weight like throughout the day. Right. Like, you're, you're, like my core body temperature, I feel like is just, it just runs hot afterwards because my body is just working so hard to repair, repair itself. Yeah. Um, so I think weightlifting is a, can be a really fantastic way to go about that. Yes, yes. Uh, um, totally. I think uh, finding a, a friend to go with you, or even a group of friends to go with you, uh, yes. could certainly make things better. Um, also, like starting slower and not like yeah. killing yourself right away. That feeling of feeling awkward at the gym. The good news is everybody feels that way. Yeah, everyone, yep. like just everyone. So don't. Uh, I w yeah, that you're not alone there. Um, Planet Fitness in particular, I think, is a, a gym that is supposed to, like, combat that specifically. Like, there's, like, no... You're not supposed to, like, grunt. You're not supposed to, like, you know... I think it discourages really serious lifters because it's, uh, you know, not a place where it's, they want you to be slamming a, weights on the ground. Such a low-key place. But, you know, I actually think I would also go in the cheap. opposite direction. Um, it, it is very inexpensive, but almost their model thrives on this idea that people are going to sign up and then not go because right. they're like, mm. oh, I'm only spending $15 a month or whatever. Um, I know for me that like when I've signed up for gyms that are a little bit more expensive, I'm like, you know what? I'm spending $125 a month at this place. I'm going. Yeah, that's you know, <laughs> that like, true. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, the other thing is uh, you could start training for the Super Carlin Spartan Race. Oh. You know, taking yeah. place in D.C. I think it was in uh, June, June 16th. 16th. Yeah. Um, we have a Spartan Race that we're doing. Um, where is our information? Do we have information about it somewhere? Um. I don't know if it's public. I think it's on the SCB Discord. Oh, it's on the SCB Discord. Okay, yeah. well, so we might have to plug the Discord really quick. That's, that's a way to As get the ever. information to it. But And also a support group of people that are going, that yes, are going to go through it. There are many yep. people that, that probably would be right there with you that mm. also feel that they are not necessarily in spectacular shape, but they're excited about the opportunity to go and hang out with a whole bunch of their friends, mm. kind of go after something. In fact, I believe some of them have started a whole secondary offshoot Discord server where the whole point of it is to be a community of fit of Super Carlin Brother Fitbit users. Who, this makes me so happy. That yeah. literally oh, yeah, the whole yeah yeah, yeah the whole thing is just that the Discord server is just that everyone just like adds each other on Fitbit and then they're just competing every day for steps. 
So there's a great way to do it. Is awesome. Get that Fitbit. Also, um, have you heard of this thing called the Cross Country Team? The <laughs> Cross Country Team. I figured we had to plug that real quick before the end of the episode. I think she's before 20. She's 20. Okay, yeah. so, so, have you heard of uh, running clubs in right. your area? <laughs> mm, there you go. That's so, what, that is what Beth does. She never really worked out very much, and she joined the, the like, a, we have a local fleet feed here. They do running groups. She joined it. It was life changing. Like, literally life changing for her. Ben, I did win out if it weren't for that dumb. Oh my god, I'm so mad at that. I'm so mad at how we did not three star this. Poor it Ludwig. Have been. Ludwig, I, you know what? One more chill, man. You have, you have my, you have my faith. I, I hope we get you again. It took yes. a while, yes. but uh, you obviously performed well. Guys, thanks for watching. If you need advice on something or just want to, you know, talk. Ask us a question. <laughs> leave it in the uh, leave it in the towel section down below. Also, if you if we have given you advice in the past and you followed through with it, mm. how did things work out? Ah. Because I know that everybody would love some updates. Okay. Mm. That would be so mm -hmm. exciting. I would love some updates. The, the updates I are want great. to know the how yeah. the elephant in the dress goes. The Mr. elephant <laughs> in a dress. Oh, I don't know how that goes. Dress that elephant. Dress that elephant. Um, and, you know, let us know how Spaghetti Batman's doing. Yes! Oh my gosh, Spaghetti Batman. Spaghetti Batman! Oh man. <laughs> Alright. Okay, until next time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Quality 8th place.